Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just after 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Monday, October the 7th, 2019, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We did have a fairly strong sell-off in the precious metals markets. Dollar was on the upside today, but that wasn't the true culprit. The true culprit was the fact that at the end of this week, the Chinese uh, delegation is coming into Washington and will resume trade negotiations. For those of you who have already read my opening letter, I have some serious questions as to whether or not they can really resolve the primary issues that have really set this whole trade war into play and made it such a protracted scenario. And that is the acquisition of U.S. technology by the Chinese. I call it free rather than fair. There's a couple other ways that you can actually describe that act. But when the Chinese basically deny that this is an action they're doing, I believe it's going to be rather hard for them to say they'll stop doing something they deny doing in the first place. And for that reason, I'm not really that optimistic about what will come out of the meeting at the end of the week. However, in this world, anything can happen. Let's take a look at our current pricing. Gold is currently fixed at $14.99.50, although it says down $4.90. That's this fix. It actually lost approximately, approximately $15 on the day. More importantly, when we take a look at our moving average, our 50-day, we can see that we had a defined break below that. You can see this is the current session here. We'll see if it's able to fill up and then close a little bit higher. But nonetheless, we will have to see over the next 24 hours. Silver also sold lower on the day, currently at $17.49. Palladium itself, still the king of the hill, $1,644.70. And lastly, platinum, $883.30. And that's all in light of some moderate dollar strength, but the dollar is still extremely high at $98.65. Even with today's moderate decline, it did take gold below $1,500, but just below that. In fact, I am still looking at this current price point and level as a level of support rather than resistance because we have seen a trade above for the better part of a week and on the dips that we have had, they were short in duration and then move back up. The one thing in terms of a technical indicator that has me watchful is the fact that just as we saw the market forces Take pricing above the 50-day average here, keep it above here and here. We saw that today we broke back below that. That is currently at 1510. That is our 50-day average. We, of course, are at 1499. Now, in terms of a stop or danger there, I don't really think that we have any real reason to worry because if you recall when we put the trade on we put it on based on the low of the day when we got in that is this candle here you can see this is 1480 our stop is at 1478.13 market low today was 1493 so we were certainly safe there the key right now is going to be a dollar strength. We had equities under pressure today, but it's really what the anticipation is coming out of the resumption of trade talks. And as I said, if the U.S. delegation and negotiation team is very much sticking to the point that there has been the unfair practice of technology acquisition by the Chinese, not fair, but free. It's a fancy way of saying they were stealing it. But the key is this. How are you willing to give up something you disavow doing? And so that, to me, is a major impasse. And because it is such an important part of the trade agreement, without coming to some sort of common ground, 
allowing the Chinese to save face somehow, but having them make a commitment that if they were doing it, they would stop, then we could see some forward moment. However, until that happens, I don't believe we are going to see that. Traders, my recommendation is to maintain your current long position, maintain your current stop, this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.